Welcome Glamistas. I want to really give you a really cool tip that I love, love, love and you can use your new lipstick that you got in your uh, glam boxes this month. I want to show you to get the perfect lip and one way of doing that is taking some baking soda, any old baking soda, putting a little bit in a little dish like this, adding some water to it, then you put any kind of toothbrush, I think a baby toothbrush or maybe an old one that you don't use anymore, maybe it was travel toothbrushes, it's good for that. Put a little bit on it, then literally brush your lips, brush, 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 and then when you get all the smudges off and you have like no more icky, you know, dry lip skin on your lips, then you want to moisturize, you want to put the moisturize back right on it, then I'd like to take maybe some 8 hour cream or any lip balm that you have, Carmex is a great one too because it smells great as well. But once you have, once you have moisturized, you want to blot your lips too. Then you want to take it right off. But it's always about putting it on, taking it off, putting it on, take it off. Then you want to take down the color of your lips by using any concealer. I love this one by Laura Mercier. It's her secret camouflage. I love secrets, don't you? Anyway, um, you want to take a little bit of that, put a little on your finger, and blot out your lip. Just taking it down. So I just erased my lips. Fabulous, huh? I look dead. So you don't want to look dead. You want to take your lipstick that you got and you got a full size one. How great is that? From Elizabeth Arden. It's their brand new Ceramide. It's 117 dirham just for this baby. So just load up your lip brush like this with your new Ceramide lipstick or any other rich lipstick that you have. And I go for a color. It'll be really interesting this season. Sorry. Hard to talk and do lipstick at the same time. Add it on your lips. You have more control with your lip brush. Remember, you can take this with you instead of all of this. Keep it in your purse. Anyway, lips are all the rage right now from every runway show you can imagine. It's, color has come to the lips more and more. If you really want to have your lip gloss, and I recommend that you do, put on a juicy one that just in the center of your lips. Can you see that? that really give it 3D dimension and press it, press it like that. Another great trick, instead of putting lip liner on like most people do that darken your lips and shape in that way, is taking a nude eyeliner or concealer pencil or whatever out there, as long as it's nude, take it and highlight just, instead of using a dark lip liner, just use, this is a fun trick, I really love it, men can do it too. Just kind of outline above and above your lip see that, the, the cupid's bow, and it just comes alive in, in a totally different way and shapes it. Also do the edges, and then take it down. Make sure that it's blended just a little bit. You could do this before you put your lipstick on, by the way. Works really well. Do mm, you see that? Mm. 3D lips, glossy. So anyway, I recommend that you try some of these tips or all of these tips and you can have a really great time doing it. New ways to use your lipstick. You can sheer out your lipstick color if it's too strong for you with a little bit of lip gloss or actually just take some of your lip balm and sheer it out that way. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that tip. And remember to join us on Facebook, you Glamistas out there, and share with us your tips on how to get luscious lips. Thank you.